All right, this is number four from 2007 Form B of the Calculus A, B, and B, C exams. And it's one where you are given a graph of F prime and asked a bunch of stuff. First thing is, uh, where does F of X have relative maximums? Um, F, if you're looking at F prime and you're looking for where F of X has relative maximums, that would be where um, F prime changes from positive to negative. So let's search for those points. Um, you can see that at negative 3, it goes from positive to negative. And also, if you keep looking, you'll see at 4, it changes from positive to negative. So f of x has relative maximums at x equals negative 3 and at x equals 4. And then we want to give a reason. So because f prime changes from positive to negative at those points. And that's pretty much the whole solution to this. Just got to know what you're doing when you read these graphs. All right. Um, part B. Now we're going to look for the points of inflection of f of x. I'm going to justify this in a, di a slightly different way than I usually do. I usually just write them down and say because f prime has relative extra at those points. Um, another option is let's let's search for the relative maximums of f prime. So we see one at negative four, we see one at two. So I'm going to say at x equals four and x equals two, and then I'm going to say that's because um, f prime changes from increasing to decreasing at those points. And uh, there's one more place where f of x has a uh, point of inflection, and that would be at a relative minimum of f prime. So that will be at x equals negative 1. And then my reason for that would be that f prime changes from decreasing to increasing at that value. All right, so that's part B. And let's move on to part C. So we want to find the intervals where um, f of x is has a positive slope and is concave up. So a positive slope means that um, the derivative is positive because the derivative is the slope. Um, and f being concave up means that the derivative is increasing. So now we're just going to look at the graph and find places where the uh, where the graph is positive and where it's increasing. So you can see from negative 5 to negative 4 and also from 1 to 2. Um, so this happens uh, on those intervals negative 5 to negative 4, and on the interval from 1 to 2. And finally, part D, we're looking for the absolute minimum value. So the absolute minimum value can occur at an endpoint, or it could occur where the derivative changes from uh, negative to positive. All right, so our options are negative 5, which is an endpoint, at 1, which is where the derivative changes from negative to positive, and at 5, which is the other endpoint. All right, so what we have to do now is figure out the y values at each of those. So f of x is an accumulation function. It's um, f of 1 plus the integral from 1 to x of f prime of x. And uh, we know f of 1 is 3. It's a given. So we can do this. So to find, um, I want to find all these areas. So the first one, uh, I have that little half circle there that has a radius of 1. So that area would be pi over 2. This is a circle of radius 2, but only half of it. So that area right there is 2 pi, but it's below the x-axis, so I'm going to have to count it as negative. Um, that's a triangle that has a base of 3 and a height of 2, so it has an area of 3. And then we have this tiny triangle here, which is half of a square, so it has an area of 1 half. All right, so knowing that, now I can figure out my values. So f of negative 5 is 3 plus the integral from 1 to negative 5 of f prime of x dx. I'm going to switch the bounds and change the sign. So I get this. Uh, and this allows me to go from left to right, which is what I would always prefer to do in reading these things. So it's 3 minus uh, the pi over 2 is above, so pi over 2. And then the 2 pi is below, so that'll be minus 2 pi. Um, and if you work that out, that ends up being 3 plus 2 pi and then minus pi over 2. So that's a lot bigger than 3. Um, f of 1 is just 3, which was given. And then I need f of 5. So the integral from, uh, it's 3 plus the integral from 1 to 5 of f prime of x. You can see this is going to be bigger than 3. Um, so it's 3 plus 3 and then minus 1 half. So that's greater than 3. So the absolute minimum value you ever get is uh, 3. And that's the whole problem. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.